Good morning, everyone. This is Debbie Gruber from Lost and Not Ceramics, and I'm coming to you today because I want to finish our little cowboy pumpkin. Oh, and by the way, this is for our contest on our YouTube channel, which is YouTube, L-O-K, you go to YouTube first, and then you hit this uh, little uh, uh, spyglass that's at the top, and you put in L-O-K Ceramics, and that'll take you to my YouTube channel. That's my YouTube channel. And when I hit 100 subscribers, then I'm going to put all the names of everybody that's on there, whether you already subscribed or you're going to subscribe. As soon as you subscribe, you're in. And I will draw a name and you can choose a bisque piece, like this is bisque here, where you paint it yourself. Okay, but I did this online for you guys so you could see how to paint this, how I painted it, but of course you can paint it however you want to. And then I'm going to finish this guy up too today so that you can see how he's done all the way. But I want to remind you too about our beautiful Halloween bat tree. And this is available for you if you'd like to, to purchase it. It's $64.95 in bisque. This is um, our tree that has no holly on the bottom here. And this is also turned into a Halloween tree. And this is glazed, and I showed you guys how to do this on YouTube. And I think I put it on Facebook, too. I, I, this one's on Facebook, for sure. And then this is my uh, sale item, which is my pumpkin bones, and it's a kit. Now, this piece all by itself, he just bought the piece, it's $49.95. But what I put it on sale for, $49.95, but you get two bottles of paint colors, your choice. Uh, paint pot so that you can paint your stem a different color. And then you get a choice of whatever kind of antique that you would like. And the rag. So you pretty much, and the, oh, and the electrical. So you pretty much get everything that you need to do to finish this up, except for you need to get mineral spirits so that you can thin out the antique and, I, and uh, spray to finish it up at the end and protect it. So, and I also showed you how you guys how to paint this out on my YouTube channel, so you feel free to go there and you can see how it's actually painted. So, but today I want to go back to my pumpkins, and I'm going to do this guy today. Now, I don't want the antique to get on the inside of my pumpkin. So, what I'm going to do is stick this rag in here to prevent splashies from going into the pumpkin. I want the pumpkin to remain the same color on the inside. Because I'm going to change the color on the outside, the inside will be a lighter color, so it'll make it look more like a real pumpkin. And I decided to put, you know, a green a ribbon on the hat. I like it. It looks good. So I just want to show you that. I'm not going to antique the hat because I'm doing brown, and brown on brown, you know, there's no point in, in doing anything. I might decorate the, the little ribbon a little bit. I, I'm kind of like a polka dot person, so I think I might show you how to put polka dots on there. So this is the antique that I chose today, and this is Doc Holiday, which is really, really good stuff. I'm a dealer with Doc Holiday because the paint is so amazing. And I'm just going to take some of this out of here and put it on my plate here. Just putting it on here. And like I said, this stuff is non-toxic, so you can reuse this plate for whatever. But I'm gonna, I always put more than I need because I don't want to get halfway through my project and realize I don't have enough. Now, I'm going to thin this out, but I'm not going to thin it out a lot because on this pumpkin, I want it to be a little bit darker. And the way you thin this out is you use mineral spirits. It's not a water-soluble antique. So you have to use mineral spirits to thin it, or if you want to take excess off your piece, you have to use mineral spirits. And you, unfortunately, you have to clean your brushes either with mineral spirits or thinner to get the paint out. Is it worth it? This stuff is really great. So I just pour a little bit. I go slow because, you know, you don't want to pour a lot. I'm not, I don't want it to thin out too much. So I'm just going to kind of look at it. There's no formula. You just kind of start playing with the stuff, and you'll, you'll kind of get an idea of how thin you want it to be. You know, you can always take more off with mineral spirits. But I like to thin this out and use it thinner to begin with. So that's what I do. And it, it doesn't waste as much product that way. You know, this stuff is really good, but I try to, I'm, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to use the word cheap, so we'll say frugal. <laughs> and then, you just come through here, and it doesn't matter what direction you go. You can go backwards and forwards, circles, see what I'm doing? It doesn't matter at all, because even if you have a blob of paint on here, which I've always warned you people about, it doesn't matter in this case, because I'm going to put this stuff on, and then I'm going to wipe this stuff off. And what I'm doing is I'm getting it into these little holes of the cutouts, so that it doesn't, um, it matches the outside of the pumpkin. But I want to make sure I get everything, so I have to look at it to make sure I hit the whole thing, because if I didn't, it'll show up. Like right now, it doesn't show up too bad, because I have the darker color. But once I wipe it off, then you'll see the difference. Not that we can't fix it, but we've tried to do things in a way that we don't have to go back and fix it. Not that I don't ever have to do that, I do. I'm just a person like everybody else. 
and I'm just going to put this on. You know, when you add water or liquid to a paint, it becomes more splashy. So you want to make sure that you proceed with caution. Because if, you're, if you really like what you're wearing, you don't want to get it all splashed up full of paint because it may or may not come out. So just be careful. Or put a smock on. I try to be careful because I like to dress up. Just I kind of look at it all directions, make sure I got it all. Every little spot looks good. And I'm going to do the top too so it matches. As you see, I didn't use very much. Look, there's a lot left. And I always make more than I actually need because I don't want to run out halfway through. It's that simple. Now this stuff dries pretty fast. So um, if it dries on you, it's not a big deal because, again, you can um, take it off with the mineral spirits. Now when I, when I take this stuff off, I want to take it off with the grain, just like if you're working with wood. So I'm just going to go up and down. And I don't want to take it all off. And it doesn't even have to be even. I don't want it to be even. Because again, if it's too even, then it looks fake. We don't want it to look fake. We want it to look like it's real. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I just love it. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. See, I missed a little spot right there. See it? Right there. See the difference? But I still have this stuff, so I'm just going to put it on there and fix it real quick. Nice. And I don't want it to be even. I'm not wiping very hard at all. I'm just barely touching it. Go slow and take your time. Again, if it dries on you before you're ready, it's okay. Unlike the other stuff I used to use, this is not water soluble and you can take it off with mineral spirits. I'm just gonna take it off the top just a little bit more. And then I wanna hit the bottom too to make sure I get it all off. That looks pretty good. It's awesome, don't you think it's awesome? I can take this out, I'll show you what I mean. See, it's like two different colors in there. It kind of, kind of glows a little bit. <laughs> and on his hat, all I have to do now is spray this, and this, and this guy will be finished. And I think I'll spray it without a shine because I, I like the matte spray most of the time. And on this guy, I mean, I could, I might shade in a little bit over here. Um, I don't know, I, but I'm going to put little polka dots on my, um, on my hat, which I forgot my white. And I'm just going to put a little bit of white right here. And then some people, I mean, I, I just take a paintbrush, a small paintbrush, and I get it full of paint, and I put little polka dots wherever I want them to go. And then I can get usually two of them out there, maybe a little more once I get the paint built up a little bit, and just put them randomly wherever I want to. Other people, sometimes they take the back of the paintbrush, and they put, the, put it on there like that, see? And they can make their dots like that, see? And, you know, that does make a perfect dot, but I just paint them on there because that's what I do. And they don't have to be the same size either. They can be any, any size you want them to be. These are your polka dots, you can do whatever you want. And put them wherever you want. But I like the polka dots, it looks good. I think it, I think it was a good choice. Perfect. And get enough paint on there so they make nice little polka dots. And then I'm gonna have to let this dry before I can spray it. So I'll spray it off camera, and then it'll be done. I don't like that one because it's not good polka dot, so I have to fix it there. There's like a ribbon here, ribbon fold. I'm just gonna use the paint in the top of it. I'll take a quick look around, see if I want to add any. I think I'll put another one here. Perfect. Oh, we have one more right there. Okay, I'm gonna clean that out, and that's good. And that's our pumpkin. I'll put the lid on so you can see. And there's a little like bump here and there's a bump here. That's how you know where, where the hat goes on. See? 
And that's him. Isn't he awesome? <laughs> so don't forget, go to my YouTube channel and subscribe for a chance to win this pumpkin or that pumpkin of your choice. And if, again, if you live in California, that's okay. I'll ship it to you at my cost. Okay, so don't be afraid to subscribe. <laughs> okay, so happy Halloween, and I'll see you with our next project. Thanks, guys. Hey, YouTube. Thanks for watching our video today. Real quick, before the up next video starts playing, do us a favor and smash the like and share buttons. If you want to see more of our content, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on all notifications so you're notified when we post new content. If you want to start your own project or just order some supplies, check out our store at www.lokceramics.com. Hope to see you in the next video.